Hi guys, welcome back. This message is for the earth signs, my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Happy Halloween or happy Samhain, depending on how you view it. We're going to, in honor of that, we are going to take a peek into what would your ancestors, what would spirit like to warn, warn the earth signs, okay? So what warning messages for my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? This is a, there is some warning about your house or um, family dynamic, something close to you, close relationships or house, home, environment, I don't know getting that randomly. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so first off, they're showing me very much like some sort of karma here, some sort of karma that you felt the effects of. Um, or that you will, a lot of you already have felt the effects of this and you're kind of, well, basically I was getting that a situation in your life will or has come to a rest and the universe may put you in sort of this hermit mode immediately after this comes into a rest because they want you to reflect on this. They want you to reflect on what happened. Um, reflect, yeah, they're saying like reflection on what happened so, so it doesn't happen again. Regardless of uh, what action you had in it, who had, so, you know, it's there's just something about that so this doesn't happen again. It's very karmic where a lesson was learned here. You may be a little bit more closed off for for a, a, a time after as well. That could be where you're at now for those of you that this situation has come to a rest. But they're saying whatever it is that you may be confused or whatever you're thinking about, um, the answer lies in the past. Possibly some habit or something that's going on. The answer lies in the past for you, Earth signs. There could have been some sort of action taken where you might have been blamed. Or regardless of if, if this was your hand at play or not. Uh, I feel as if you were blamed in some way at the time in the past, maybe, or you're being blamed right now. So there's just, it's just very karmic. There's some sort of drama is going on here, but it, it's very much tied into the past, not the future. Um, and it might not even fully be in the present or you guys are like about to go in a resting period if you're still going through this. But with, these are all individuals from the past. It could be family or just people that you know. <clears throat> you might find out more information about something as well. This could be related to what I'm talking to or not. But I feel like there's more to know than what you already know. The energy's been a little bit interesting for the earth signs lately. Um, but I do, I am picking up that it's coming to a rest. So regardless of what, you know, is bothering you, there is something going to, you know, everything phases. There's phases for everything. Yeah, they just keep showing me that in some moment, or you might feel stranded, or somebody may, like, stranded, alone, um, or you're thinking about this. But uh, during this time frame, it's like, that's when you're going to start planning, making a plan. There's a lot of emphasis on justice, karma could be legal or just um, either physical legal things or energetic 
karma to me is legal in the energy realm. So yeah, <clears throat> I just feel you kind of like there's something in your mind that you're kind of still trying to get over. You're thinking about, but it, with with this situation, with whatever you're going to be going through or what you're going through, it just requires patience. And I feel you planning. But I don't know. They're just showing the, the universe is like warning about that, this experience that has had an effect on you here. Okay. They want you to understand it. So it doesn't happen again. I just keep repeating. All right, let's let's switch over. Um, start with Taurus. Universe, connect with the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What would you like to warn, Spirit, what would you like to warn Taurus about, please? Warning messages for my Taurus. Warning messages for my Taurus. Hmm. Could be an argument coming in with a, with a, could be an argument with a, a feminine energy here. It could be, hmm. I'm not getting a lot of closeness between you and this feminine. You're just interacting with them in some way. This person wants to argue. That's what it feels like. Okay, so what else for Taurus, please? Show me. Possible they may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. All right. Let's get to it, shall we? What warning messages do you have for my Taurus, please? Okay. Something that you actually kind of feel fairly comfortable with may change or end suddenly. Um, I don't know what this is though, but it's interesting because I'm getting like there isn't really anything wrong with this. It may take a while and things like that, but I'm getting, or, or something changes in regards to this situation. There may be somebody who like, I don't know. One person leaves or this ends, or I don't even know. I'm just getting like, there's the pre someone's presence and, and there was nothing wrong, it seems like. Or you might view it like that. You're like, I don't really know. Um, what happened here? Feels very sudden. I am feeling a little bit of um, pleasure in romance. There could be some sort of adventure or something that you do here. The moon. This may be a surprise to you or you won't see this coming. You might be going somewhere and you don't see it coming, but it'll be a very pleasurable experience. This is meant for you. Someone may do this. They may take you on. I'm, I'm getting you going somewhere. They're taking you somewhere, but it feels sort of spontaneous or they've kept it spontaneous with you for you from you um this is a nice energy here there's a lot of love so what you know they're warning you about they're warning you about some sort of love you may love something more than you thought you would type of deal this feels fairly new in your life.
but you won't see it coming. Some spontaneous kind of fun activity. You don't even see this coming. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Interesting though. Some of you may meet a new person. If it's not a new person, you're just going to be feeling a lot of love. This is a nice, uh, like this is something that you want. You're like, wow, this is really cool. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I needed. And somebody's going to kind of like do this for you. Could be a water or a fire sign. Perhaps someone is coming in to please you, Taurus. Isn't that lovely? I like that. You could be kind of working on healing after some sort of loss. When this happens, this person may, you might, you might be healing in, in, could have been like surgery or procedure or there's, I'm getting, there's an element of healing and you're focusing on that. Either you or something that you care about, you could be nurturing a situation, watching it closely. And then in comes this surprise. So that's kind of nice. I like this nice energy. You will be happy with um, what comes in. Good communication as well coming in. Like a message that makes you smile or. Something along those lines. So that, that turned out okay. God, it was a little funky in the beginning. So there could be some sort of trauma that you experienced, but then things actually turn out okay. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Virgo. Universe, take me with the energy for my Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What warning messages do you have, Spirit, for my Virgos? Morning messages for my Virgos. You're going to hear something. But, um, you're waiting to say something as well. There could be there could be speech that something that you want to speak, but you might be waiting. Okay, what warning messages do you have for my Virgos, please? Eight of Wands and Four of Pentacles. You could be getting a lot of communication or messages. I'm, I'm feeling like a lot coming towards you. They're warning you about this, though. I'm feeling like they're telling you, like, be careful what you say. Even if people are coming at you with a lot of words, no matter what they're saying, just uh, they're warning you to be very closed and discreet about what you say back, what you reveal Could be a lot of rumors or I'm just feeling a lot of communication and messages or either literal words, conversation coming at you. But you may know some, you may know because I'm uh, you're you're holding that pentacle here. So you, you may have information that others don't. They're telling you to withhold this, withhold this. Walk away. The, the, best op the, the best option may be to walk away. Be careful about acting too rashly and, and not thinking before you act. Um, because I think that somebody's going to come at you with this Knight of Swords energy. They may come at you in an aggressive manner. Or they're just very bold, very aggressive, um, direct. And... Uh, I feel as if this person is powerful too, like physically. So I would be careful with them. They're warning you about this. That if you return, that it, to return this action back, it's almost like you'll, they're saying with choosing how to behave, that you should walk away 
it might be more worth it to walk away. That's that's where um, things will work out in your favor with the Six of Wands. You'll look like the bigger person here. What other warning messages do you have for me for Virgo? Warning messages for Virgo. moon there's a lot that you don't know there's a lot that you don't understand especially about someone in particular so be careful how you act because and and the the decisions that you may make without thinking deeply here, because you, you might have the tendency to sort of just be like, okay, and this doesn't have to be aggressively in a negative way. This could be just choosing a decision without thinking about like, is this a good idea? Because I'm feeling like um, there's things that you don't know. And I feel like you might not, if you were to find out, there could be some heartbreak here. Your emotional, your like your uh, romantic behavior, and uh, I don't know. I'm getting possible heartbreak here. Could be flirting or something that hurts another person's feelings, regardless of if you're single or not. You or some you or someone else, but it's like a warning for you. You or someone else might be kind of uh, the Knight of Cups gives love, but he's just kind of. I mean, he. I don't know. I feel as if whoever this is, they're just they might do something, and it could be harmless because the Knight of Cups is fairly harmless. But it has this element with these two knights here of just not thinking things through. Maybe it's like um, flirting or doing something that's that's hurtful to another person. And somebody may do this to you. It would be at the nighttime hour. Or you may do this to another person. They're just cautioning you about how you react and how you respond. Um, because somebody is going to... And that's what I mean. Like if somebody feels hurt... They may uh, lash out at you, okay? Or you might do this. So just there, there's some situation that you might need to disconnect yourself from. Like going home, walking away is the best answer, Virgo. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, I feel that there will be hurt feelings. Okay, sorry that was a little bit of a heavy energy, but that's sort of what I was getting. Any other final messages for Virgo? Could be healing uh, in regards to if there's any type of love interest or love that you have. There could be like this wanting, not wanting to give up and heal. Communication is key, okay? In whatever situ if you're if there's anybody that you care about or this is for cross watcher watching for Virgo like communication is key to any type of success in business especially though in regards to anybody that you care about deeply okay this is what they care about is communication Virgo <laughs> okay or you know vice versa all right let's go ahead and switch over to Capricorn. feel the need to use this deck <clears throat> for some reason very strongly because of the darkness around the edges. I don't know why, though. Hmm. There's something deep for you, like something going on deep or has been. But I've been getting a, an intense energy, sort of, I think, lately. Universe, can you the energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my Capricorns? What warning messages do you have for Capricorn, please? 
Warning messages for the Capricorn. The conflict will come to an end or um, fighting will bring an ending. The conflict will come to an end. Fighting will bring an ending. Either or, or possibly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Something's going to end. Yeah. Because there isn't really a solution. You might not even really see a solution to it yourself. Okay, what is the warning messages, please, for my Capricorns? It's too many, too many, too many. What warning messages do you have for my Capricorns? There's just like cards all over the place here. Warning messages for my Capricorns, please. Come on could be an opportunity that comes to you, something that you very much want. You might have to, it might leave you hanging or there could be a delay um, for a while though. Okay, what warning messages do you have for Capricorn, please? I feel kind of unfocused. Warning messages for the Capricorn, please. They just keep giving me so much that it's like overwhelming. You could be a little bit overwhelmed by possibly a situation or that you just don't, I don't know. You possibly could have to do with money or something like that, that you just don't really see in this moment. I feel like that's only for this moment though. I'm getting like a successful um, connection of some kind here. I would be careful about money though. I would watch your money uh, closely, Capricorns, like bank statements, just everything, because I'm getting something here about money that could be missed or um, not correct. So pay attention to that. I don't trust someone, but it might, I don't know if it's intentional or they just made a mistake here, but just there's something about that. Okay, what other, um, I need to, can you not give me, you know, 25 cards? <laughs> what other warning messages do you have, Spirit, for Capricorn? Okay, see, it just keeps giving me so many. Happy in the long run, um, putting in time and effort into either your family or this could be a work environment where you, you it grows to become like family. I'm getting long term. It might take a while. There might be some arguments, disagreements and things that go on, um, but I see you really trying to defend this here. There could be something that changes about your home environment um, or some drama that goes down in a home. Hey, I just feel like unsettled. Maybe I'll switch decks because I'm everything's very fragmented. There's so much coming out. Any final warning messages, please, for my Capricorns? You might need to change something, and that could be what the problem is, why I feel kind of finicky here. Okay. What other warning message? Yeah, there's some sort of argument. This, yeah. 
You might be really trying here. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and you've been trying for a long time. This is something you've been involved in with for a while. Five of Cups, and you're kind of disappointed. Or you're going to be. Feels like you're the one, or somebody, okay. It seems like the energy isn't equal with who's fighting for this stability, this long term. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, and Two of Wands. You may be thinking about connecting with someone, uh, reuniting with them. You're very passionate about this person. Um, you may have similar interests or you're attracted to them. There's some sort of draw that you have. That's why you want to go towards them. Um, but you had a fight with them in the past. Okay, but you know what's interesting is you may choose to try to reunite with this individual. And uh, you may fight again. Because this, the decision is still the same. The, the answer is still the same here. Because it's like um, judgment card. So even if you want to connect with this person, even if you want to reunite with them, uh, I still feel like the disagreement or the issue is the same, you know. But you may go towards this anyway. That's why they're warning you. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, or Seven of Cups, and then Seven of Swords. There is someone here that might be really confusing to you. This person doesn't tell you what they're doing, and if they, and if you, like where they say they're going, if they, they don't say where they're they don't go where they're saying they're going or they don't say where they're going at all. I don't know. I don't um, I don't know who this individual is, but I do feel as if there is someone that you feel like you cannot trust. They may be seven of cups thinking about other things. Or working on other situations? Who Who is this person? I don't know. I don't know who they are. But they're just kind of warning me about an individual in your life that's significant. This King of Cups. Who, I mean, whatever sign they could be. I have uh, fire, water, and earth here. So. Uh, but I see you putting effort into, like, long-term could be a job or pursuit and really kind of working towards that and putting effort. Even though you may be disappointed about some social dynamic in your life going on right now. So, or that will be coming up. So they're kind of forewarning me about a fight. But I do think that there will be a successful connection of some kind in a different way long term. Because that's what I was getting the biggest emphasis on was... Not necessarily now. There could be drama now, but in the long term, things are going to be better uh, for you. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on. Bye-bye.